Good day student and welcome to this teaching video teaching on how to download an image from the internet paste it on your Microsoft Word save it and send your file as an attachment to a designated uh, email address let's start now I'm using Google Chrome the first thing I'll do is I open up my Google Chrome and at the URL up here I'm going to type www.google.com and this takes me straight to the google.com and from here at this text box down here I'm going to be searching for an image hammer I type there hammer I press my enter key or I click my search it takes me and it displays several things concerning hammer over here but what I want to do is or what I'm searching for is starts to do with image we have videos news and all other ones but I'm going to image I click on the image and it's going to show me different types of image about or uh, on hammer now this is the image i want to copy i take my cursor on it i right click it gives me several options but what i'm going to do is what to copy this image by clicking on save image as clicking on that gives me an option dialog box which is an indication that the what I actually want to download is ready for being is ready for downloading. So down here I found the file name. The system had given me a default name. Then looking at the left side here, you have several folders where I can download the image to. So here I'm going to change the name to Hammer. On changing the name over here i'll click save if you check down here you see something is blinking very fast so it's an indication that what i downloaded had actually been downloaded so i'll minimize this go to my desktop i found it up there this is it now the next stage i've downloaded the image down into my system I'll go to my programs and open up Microsoft Word. I am using Word 2013. That's Microsoft Word 2013. I open it up. And the first thing I'll do here, according to instruction given in class, is you give your lesson a topic. It is a topic. Topic. So I'll just suggest this we call we call tools. Tools tools, just tools. Then after this is you have the behavioral objectives. Behavioral objective. Now, you are going to stay the behavioral objective at the end of the lesson. Students should be able to you give a minimum a maximum of two behavioral objective concerning the tools you are teaching once you are done you are now going to copy the image and paste it here you minimize your microsoft word you right click on the image that you've downloaded on your desktop you right click and you go to copy you click on copy you go back to your microsoft word and you click paste 
or you click Control V, which is the same thing as paste. This is the image now. Then you are going to give your image a title. See, this is a number. That is a title. You are done with this. You give it a topic, you stated your behavioral objective, you copy the image and you give it a title. The next thing you are going to do now is to save this your file with your matric number. You click file, you click save as, because I'm going to save it on the desktop, I'll click inside my computer. This computer, you have several places you can save it to, but because I want to save it on desktop, I click on desktop. And for example, my for the file name that is what you are going to save it with my matrix number is 070 2111 that is my matrix number for example i click save once i click save if you check up here you found the matrix number which means this particular work saved so I'll close it up. Then checking the desktop, you should find your work, except if you are saved it elsewhere. The next stage you are going to do now is you are going to send this file.